Hey guys, me again. So, uh, I was sent this video or this um, recording on Twitter not long after um, the the mar or the protest that was in in Dublin the other day, and um, it seems there's a split coming or a split in the right between uh, Herman the Germans. Uh, IFP, the Irish Freedom Party, and D Walls, whatever yoke she's on this week, being on the front for Gemma and the like. But um, apparently, they were the ones that set up this march or this protest, and uh, Herman Goring came in and took it all over. No. for a man that is very anti-paedophile and the like, he loves to protect them. It seems uh, the Catholic Church were well protected by him, uh, writing books denying there was any abuse in the Catholic Church. Uh, stating that it was just bad memories, confusion, and people just wanting to make a quick book. In England, UKIP, he protected a shitload of paedophiles over there. And now he seems to be dead set against them here. Now he's hooked up with the right people, I suppose, as regards Renewa. And uh, that child who made his confirmation there, uh, Ireland's youngest racist, Justin, no, Justin Barrett, he's a middle-aged man of fucking fuckery. Uh, a guy who's just dead set against everything, and unfortunately, he um, he's probably the first worst thing to come from Tipperary at the moment. Um, I won't say who the second is, but he's sitting as a TD at the moment. Um, so yeah, there was him, and then there was, who else was there? John Connors. Uh, Herman Munster um, popped up on stage there, and he waffled for about 30 seconds, forgot what he was saying. You could see the poor man drawing a blank because he's not used to so many racists as one spot in one spot, I suppose, that are listening to him. And he handed the microphone to John Connors in... To be honest, all John was missing was WWE entrance music. Uh, he got up and piped up the crowd with references to Kulak, Dublin, Ireland and they all went mad and he went he, he's a cross between a bingo caller and and um and a WWE uh wrestler. It wasn't exactly a pipe bomb he dropped, but uh you know, them's are the breaks. Um I will say though, whatever credibility he had is gone now. Um it's it's pretty much a case of when you start hooking up with uh looking Herman Watsy's dude and the likes of Justin and the rest of that show or you're at nothing, you've lost all credibility. And wasn't Pavy Point one of those organizations that um are trying to get away from this guilt by association but you know john your credibility is gone you're you can forget about it now at this point no matter how many pictures you've taken with mike tyson or anyone else you know i know you probably do fear for the safety of kids and all that but you could have hooked up with a lot better people than uh this crowd then supposedly Antifa showed up for what was the, the quickest anti-protest known to man, which I don't believe they did for a minute. I think that was probably a quick setup because bear in mind Antifa are not 
real their set of ideas anti-fa anti-fascism now john connor said a very stupid thing on the microphone the other day um, when he was at that protest saying that fascist crowd anti-fa now if you're not anti-fa you're pro-fa anti-fascism pro-fascism you can beat the bollocks off what you want but um at the end of the day you you cannot hide calling yourself a patriot this that and the other and then just run around like a mini mussolini uh you know going on about um you know anti for this anti for that and then you go off and you pin uh now this was about two years ago you pinned um Veronica Gearin's brother, I believe, he was brought up on uh, charges with um, that was uh, child um, child pornography uh, images and stuff like that, and you decide you're going to pin him as the anti fa leader. That was debunked two years ago, and now all of a sudden it's at it again. You see, this is what this is the stretch. This is you know what um this is what we have to deal with you know that you're so uneducated the right or maybe over educated in some places that you just don't care that you think you can say anything and it'll stick but you know at the end of the day if it was a case of you did have facts you did have all this, it would be a case of if you'd put them in the comments, but in the amount of videos I've done, I have rarely seen um, any comeback as regards facts, figures, anything in the comments. I have got a lot of how I look, um, how I sound, everything else, which really has nothing to do with um how would i put it what's in the videos or the word i'm putting out there but all the right have is this that is literally all they have they know the truth they just don't care but that's racism that's fascism that's whatever else you you know they'll believe what they want to believe and that's it but yeah about this split anyway um it seems it was, it was Dolores and crew that set this up and Herman Munster just jumped on board with Renewa, Johnny, all of them and forced them out but they still had their own uh, gig at the GPO but you know I mean it's shite really isn't it? I mean you can't even get your facts right about the um the Thatchell guy who wanted to lower the age of consent to 14, not 8. And the whole, when he when he explained it, that the 14-year-old could give consent only to people three years their elder, which would have been 17. And, um, you know, they could have intercourse with other 14-year-olds, whatever. But no, uh, the right had to take it as pedophilia. Um, they had to basically say it was eight. Now, I don't know where they got eight from because it wasn't eight. It was never eight. There was another video that was a spoof brought out in Germany or close on that said it. But no, it was never eight. And it's not pedophilia, it's hepophilia, which you should actually check before you start throwing this shit around. Now, what I will say is everyone connected with that gig, all of a shady past. Whatever about John Connors, he's the one that connects every one of them. But I, I, Justin Barrett groomed a 17-year-old. Uh, Herman, whatever his last name is, I don't really give a shit, uh, has protected paedophiles in both the Catholic Church and uh, UKIP in England. And there have been one or two more connected. I think it was Tan Torino or someone that 
is in the same boat there uh, as regards, I don't know, I, I won't say what he did because um, that would be putting myself in a position where, you know, legalities could be involved. But as regards everything that's gone on, John Connors has associated himself with paedophiles, rapists, groomers and everything else. You can't talk about being anti-pedophilic, hebophilic, whatever, when you have this sort of stuff up against you. And for once, you know, maybe split is common that's going to cripple the right completely because you know, Dolores has her set her set of um, ideals. Gemma has hers, which is obviously protecting the Catholic Church from mass murder and serial killing the whole works, protecting whatever else. But you know, there you go. Anyway, that's that's just my take on things. Uh, I won't drop your comments, I won't say drop a debate because you're actually mostly 90% of you are incapable of that. So I will say just drop the abuse. You can drop it in the comments, not just drop it because you won't. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys.